Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to another chaotic repot with me. Listen, you might not be able to hear it, I've actually got a little bit better in the last 20 minutes, but I'm really unwell, right? So regular Friday content, shall we say, is sort of put on hold. I am actually putting something in together for you that I think you're really gonna like. I saw something the other day that's made me real mad. Can't wait for that. That'll be in about a week or so. But for the next week while I'm trying to get better, I'm kind of just filming myself doing some planned chores in the shop. What I'm actually doing is, in a lot of these cases, but not all I'm planting up some plants so I can take them to my house. I've started doing that, but I don't want to show you till things are at least kind of in their place, so that might still be a few weeks, but I am starting to plant plants to take over. So, with that said, today in this little mini bite-sized video, again you'll get a few of these, I'm replanting this guy. He has some pups and he's very wobbly in the pot, right? He's been totally neglected and he's been used and abused for his flowers upstairs. Now I did mention this in the last video, I have a few plants, sorry my voice keeps cutting out, did you hear that? I have a few plants upstairs that look like this. Basically they've just been neglected, we used and abused them for flowers and they've just got worse and worse. They've also grown in really funky ways. Wait till you see the next video I do, it's, it's not good. But anyway, this here, I can't get it to you that close, maybe I can. This here for some reason has a delta cross tag in it, it's not. This is one of my favourites. This is Anthurium Forgetii Dark Form. Not everyone has one of these, a lot of people think they have, but they haven't. Essentially, it's just a Forgetii with no silver. Should I just show you that there? Oh, sorry, I'll have to like kneel down. So, this is why it's chaotic. Can you see how horrific this is? I'm holding this up because it's so wobbly in the pot because it's grown from literally a very, very thin, very thin plant actually. So we've got some pups, we've got him there with a bit of damage. Obviously I'll be cutting some of this. New leaf's not so bad, this leaf's not so bad. Now I really want to take a dark forget eye to my house. I've actually taken a very small one, but I've got another one of these upstairs that's just as big. So I really want to take a big one to my house. I've decided to pick this one. I might butt cut it. I will have to see, or just plant it deeper or something. Not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but the first thing we need to do is get out the pot. Obviously the pups, hopefully you can see them. I'll be taking them out separately and growing them. So we have to put it down and this is genuinely going to be awful this. I'm not looking forward to this at all. So I'm gonna put, um, I have loads of menageries and accessories off camera. I tried to get them all this time because last time I didn't. Let me just grab some stuff. I have, I have a blank bucket that I'm going to try and pour the pawn out. If I ever say lecker at any point, I do mean pawn. I noticed I did that last time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put, well, I'm going to try and depot the plant really. And I realise again, this is not the most easy thing to see. Completely get it. It's why it's chaotic. Great, I know. So first thing I need to do is I need to lift it out of here. Oh good, it's come straight out, but it looks mm, dubious is what it looks like. It's just, I don't know why, by the way, Th this plant's been sat in a random pot like this, I think because Ben did it. I do have L-hole pots of the correct size, i.e. these, that are spare in, in the unit. I don't know why it's ever gone in the other pot. I guess it goes to show that you can put it in another pot, albeit that pot was a bit small. But never mind, never mind. Right, I am expecting this to happen relatively quickly. It's more the repot and the trimming that might take a bit longer. Before I do it, one thing I have forgotten is gloves. I do love a good pair of gloves, guys. It's very important. It's not actually important. It's basically just because I don't like stuff on my hands. I've got a bit of a, call it an ick about getting plant matter under my fingernails and stuff like that. Don't, I don't vibe with it, you know? Just don't like it. Never have, even since a kid, when I would eat food as a baby, apparently I would eat something like crisps or like a biscuit or something and I would get all of it in my hands and it would be really claggy and I would cry and I would just scream crying doing this with my hands. I still do it as an adult. Sometimes if I'm washing up or something or I touch something horrible, i am like, ugh, and I'll start doing this with my hands. How weird is that? I am 34, guys. I know, I'm not a baby anymore. Let's just get these on. <sighs> I feel really out of breath. That will just be illness. Uh, sorry if it annoys anybody. I know it's not COVID, I've already tested it. It's obviously just, you, you, you bog standard illness. You remember when we just got ill? Like we just got a cold? That's what we've got. So I'm hoping guys, this comes out really fast. I will be quiet while this happens because it's noisy. Oh God, oh God, no, it's not, it's not. Oh no. This, my worst nightmare when it didn't come out. I'll try and loosen it without hurting it. Please, come on. Oh no. This is not what you want. I think if enough comes out, it should just come out pot. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Can I just gently pull it? I don't want it to snap. That would be really bad if it snapped. There's not a lot to hold on to. 
<laughs> right, hang on. I'm going to have to cut these flowers off because they're really in my way. I'm aware that we have a nice big fresh flower, but I don't care. It's not the uh, it's not the point of the exercise, so I'm just going to cut them off so I can actually just see what I'm doing, really. Right, I'm going to have to massage the roots and get all this pawn off. Oh, it's a really good root ball. This is bad because I wasn't actually going to pot up into a bigger pot. I don't actually have one big enough. Well, I do, but they're kind of reserved. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. That's a bit of a an error on my part. I could try and butt cut it, but it's a bit risky. Right, so there's a cute little pup. He's looking very cute. He's a bit mangled because he's grown all nasty. I'll show you the pup up close. Two seconds. Ooh. Please don't hurt yourself. I love you. Yeah. Cute little pop. Can you see that? Where are you? Where is the camera? There it is. Cute little pop. Bit mangled, but really good. This, by the way, is why I say if you want to learn propagation, or maybe you don't want to learn propagation, but you want an anthurium or something like that that's easy and you can sell bits of it or multiply it around your house or whatever, this particular plant is ace, especially as well if you like dark foliage. Now, I don't know how green that's coming off on camera, how dark it is. Obviously, this is a bit malnourished, but if you can see, obviously, what these go like, they go really nice and dark and sexy. So, honestly, it's a really good one if that's what you're after. And that is why I recommend them all the time, guys, because they are easy. The very fact this is alive is just testament to it, to be honest. Right. I'm going to leave that as it is, really, because that's... That's quite fine. That's all right. It just needs a rinse through, I think. It's a little bit sludgy, but nothing a rinse can't fix. So now I can pull this out. Just to be honest, got the pawn of it. There's a couple of roots that have come off just from shaking, but it, it's not, it's not too bad. Let me try and pick them off. It's not, you know, it's, it's not horrific. It's okay. Oops, didn't mean to throw that into the pot. Remember guys, chaotic repot. So, Hmm, there's more that's come off. The roots are actually very healthy and minimal rot, considering this is a literal nightmare. So I don't really know if it's got enough root to just continue on as it is. I would love to do it. I'll tell you what I could do. Now this is risky. So I'll try and talk you through what I'm doing. Otherwise, this isn't very useful for you, is it? So what I'm thinking of, right, if I just repot this as it is, we're going to get the same thing, right? But I'm noticing there's a selection of roots here. See these? Can you see in the camera? Yeah, hopefully you can. These bigger ones here. I'm hoping if I can sort of very gently unravel these, cut them below that, so the stump will have a shit ton of roots, but this will still have hopefully some roots to it, and then we'll plant that. I'll plant it deep enough to get these in, and then these will become roots, and then I can butt cut it some more and it can get a bit shorter. That is literally the only plan that I have. So I think we should run with that plan to be honest chaos right we can go to about there go to about there i'll plant from about here don't need that anymore so we're about here that is genuinely guys the best i can do you probably can't see me but i don't think you need to so i just want to so gently unravel this if i get some breakage i'm not that bothered there's so much root here i'm not bothered at all to be honest plus i am technically going to cut this plant so it's not really making too much of a difference to any shock that i might actually give it oh they go on and on it's inevitable i'll snap it a bit anyway to be honest so it's okay just when you do this yourself just be as gentle as you can also don't neglect your plants because then you're in this position in the first place right so that is useful right this is what i'm thinking there's one over here that is oh my god really intertwined oh no <sighs> i'm so hot there's no heating on at the shop just because we don't need it it's so hot on its own we've had a bit of a I don't want to say a heat wave in the UK because it, it hasn't been at all. It's just been warm for once. It's only been like 20 degrees outside, but something very special about this unit just heats up. Don't get me wrong, in the winter it's horrific in here, but when it does heat up, it's good. Right. I'm really surprised with these roots. I thought these would be horrific. I will say the Forgetia I does have arguably finer roots than some other anthurium like Clarinervium and stuff. That's normally how you can tell, by the way, if an anthurium is tough. A lot of people say, well, how do you how do you like figure it out if an anthurium is tough or not? Do you just have to look after it and see? And the answer is, well, yes. But there are some assumptions you can make, sort of, on an anthurium based on the root system a lot of the times. And to be honest, having said that, this does sort of betray the rule a little bit because these are very fine roots. And I'm not saying they can't be thicker. A lot of it's your the medium that you're growing it in. But these are quite fine roots. And this is a very easy anthurium, in my opinion. 
in my opinion. So who knows, guys? Oh no. I really think I'm just going to end up snapping some of these. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's a bit there. I know this might not look like I'm making progress, but I pro <laughs> I promise I am. Right. Where are you going? Where, sir? Good sir. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you going? Got a bit there. You know what? I'm genuinely getting out of breath from talking. It's quite bad that, isn't it? Well, I am ill. I did, uh, I went to the gym this morning. I haven't been in the best part of a few weeks. And uh, I went in so stubborn, I refused to like put the weights lower or turn the treadmill down. I was just like, no, I'm not going to have not progressed or got worse. I'm just going to do it on the same thing as I was. And honestly, it's kind of killed me today. You should have seen it. Normally I go on the treadmill, right? If anyone wants to know my treadmill style, I normally do about 8% incline because I don't want to interfere with like leg workouts and stuff. I do about six, I don't know if it's miles... Uh, per hour, kilometers per hour, I can't remember. But it's on six anyway. Now oh, I did that today. Now normally when I do that, it takes me 15 minutes at least to get into cardio. And sometimes I can't even break into like cardio heart rate, right? On my little Fitbit. Do you know how quickly I got into cardio today? Around about two minutes. Two minutes on those settings. Since I've learned to drive, my fitness has just gone to hell. It's gone to hell. It's died a death because now I don't walk everywhere. And I drive and I obviously I thought to myself, yeah, yeah I'll drive to the gym and do cardio, but you, you don't, you don't do it. So I've got that to contend with. So I need to start doing that. Right, we're nearly, we're nearly cooking with gas here. I know exactly where I want to cut it, to be honest. Maybe I should cut it first. Shall I do that? Maybe that's easier. Cause then maybe I can just pull that apart. Like maybe I'm just making it harder for myself. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. At least this way though, I should make the root system a little bit smaller and it might buy me some time. I will be mortified if I pull off a very minimal amount of root here, to be honest. Extremely mortified. And you know what? It looks like that's going to happen. Do not tell me that's all the root I've just removed. Oh no, don't. Just don't. Oh, right. Maybe I can cut it again then. It's just not enough, guys. You know what I mean? I need more of a more of a drastic change. I could cut this again here. Because I also need a shortened meristem. There, there's another plant, technically. You can't see, but there are actually chunks on here. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. But there are. I promise there are. So put that there. Right, so what we've got left now... It's in... It's not bad. It's probably borderline, though. We do have some breakage. Gentle rattle should get the rest off. It sounds awful, but I'm actually glad of some breakage because I need it to fit into this pot and I realise that's very counterproductive completely. Oh wait, there's loads. Oh good. Right, I don't want to do it too much. Right. Is that falling off as well? Yes. Okay. Well, that's actually quite a lot of root. Not not great, not great. But it's okay, guys. It's okay. We'll we'll handle it. Right. Before I pot it, can you see this? These are the leaves we've got. This one's quite all right. That's all right, but it's small. This one I would say is quite shit and it's lowered down. So I might take that off because why not? We don't really need this. I'll put that over there. That's not bad, but I'm just wondering how it's going to grow because I do have to try and pot this to the point where it does look semi-sensible, but also to the point where it will straighten out and hopefully lift up because that's a bit balked. You know what I mean? This is actually the newest leaf here. Can you see this? This isn't, but it's grown. Can you tell? Like it's grown so funky. I don't really, I don't know what to do. I think we're just going to have to pot it. It's just going to have to look funky, guys. I don't want to do anything too much to hurt it. So I don't see why we can't use this. You can't see, but it's just pond. It's got a tiny bit of lecker in it. The lecker's probably, in reality, from the bottom of the pot, because sometimes, I've, I've mentioned this before, I like to put a bit of a, a layer of lecker down the bottom. So that's all that is. I'm just picking out any bits of root that I can see. There we go. Very healthy plant, this one. I'm surprised. It's a shame it's grown gnarly as hell, but it should have had some support or, I don't know, some sort of love at some point. And it just, it has not had it, you know? So, let's have a little look and assess the situation. Um, you know what? I'm happy enough with that root mass, actually. That's, that's not terrible. So I'm going to put a little bit. Can you still see what I'm doing? Mm, short of. I realise this is not, not perfect. I'll get some in the bottom. Pull a bit of root out. Again, I, I, honestly, I, I know this is chaos, guys. I, I know. I really know. I'll, I'll have to try and come up with a better way of doing this. It's like, really, you need... I think I've said this before. You either need two cameras or you need a top-down rig. That would be really cool. I don't know if I could do that at some point. I do have a second camera that I don't use anymore. Right, I don't want to put too much more in there. But I've basically got about... 
an inch to two inches, depending on where you look in the bottom of there. I'm going to try and plant this as straight as possible. Definitely straighter than I am. But I want to sort of plant it down a bit, which I can already see is going to be made very difficult by some of these leaves. And I think I'm going to have to cut this back one off because it's not actually going to let me plant it. I know you won't believe me, but you just have to trust me. It's sort of, it's grown down so much, it's wedged down like this and it's not allowing me to push against it, which means it's gonna snap anyway. So let's just get the roots in, nice and spread. See, even that one on the bottom is getting a bit of pressure applied, but let's just keep it like that. So I don't know if you can see what's going on in here or not. But I'm just gonna fill this in now with pon. Good old pon. Apparently, I didn't know this, but you can get pond now without any nutrients. Now, don't get me wrong, you've probably been able to do that for a long ass time, but I remember suggesting that years ago. So it's good that they've done that, because honestly, the fertilizer in it is the cheapest grade fertilizer that you can get. And honestly, for your regular houseplant user, that's fine. But I think if you want something a bit more OP, then you should probably fertilize separately. Uh, not a plug for my feed, by the way. I just think that of any fertilizer, I think. I don't really think you need fertilizer in the soil. It really depends what kind of water you are and how low maintenance you want to be. But honestly, feeding your plants isn't too taxing. You'd have to have hundreds and hundreds. And I think if you did have a large collection, then yeah, you can probably get away with, um, what do you call it? With, with putting fertilizer in the soil. Like I used to put worm castings in and stuff like that. That's really good. But I think otherwise you probably don't need it. I'm trying to pull off really carefully old bits of petiole and such. It's just a bit unsightly in it and I'm trying to make it look, you know, just just not not terrible. And it, it will look terrible, but I would want it to look at least semi-okay. See, how's that looking? <laughs> I'm I'm kind of hoping it sorts itself out because there's no there's no nice way of showing this plant. Can you see this? It's not gonna look Instagrammable. But my thinking was if I did it now, and I forgive the pun, I nurtured it, um it might sort of Fix it itself, I don't know. Let me put that in here, like that. Bish bash bosh. Oof. Um, yeah, very underwhelming this one, but I did say it was chaos, guys. But what I will say is it's now got good root mass for the pot and it should grow quite nice. I don't think I've compromised it to the point where we're going to get crap leaves. I don't know what I should do with that. Maybe it's stabilising it, you know. That's the thing, if I cut too many leaves off like this one here, it might get to the point where that's holding it upright and... I don't want to screw with that, really. I think that's not bad. I, I realise, guys, this is quite dog-eared, but it was just the sheer size of him. Look, for a forgetty eye, he's quite sexy. Do you know what I mean? This is what I mean, by the way, if you like dark things. He's not the prime example, but he, he is quite nice. Plus, obviously, when these are mature, they do, for, for, at least to my knowledge, they do keep the roundness. Although, look how balked he is. He's really lumpy. He's a bit rounder there. But that's essentially what they like. They're very, very bonny plants. They're so underrated, I can't even communicate to you how underrated they are. So that's him. Um, all I can do is just hope. Look at him. Look at the state. It's just hope he gets better. There's nothing I can do to improve that. He just has to, he has to sort himself, you know. He has to save himself. There's nothing I can really do. Right. Oh, my eyeball. I put makeup on to film this and I shouldn't have bothered. I should not have bothered. It was pointless. My face isn't even going to be in it, but I just felt so ill. I needed the pick-me-up. I needed the boost. I didn't want to feel, you know, so ill that I looked like I was dying. So yeah, that, that's quite sad, that, because on the surface, can you see? On the surface, it looks like it's dying. And it, I swear, this is completely firm. It's just grown in such a stupid way. It's actually leaning against a, a macrolobium, actually. And because it's grown on a lean, the plant, the, the leaves, have just sort of had to find their way so it does look stupid even the flowers grown in a weird lean but hey ho we will fix it i'm really i would love to be able to sort of just even just make that better but we'll see what happens with him i probably will still take him to my house he will look ridiculous he's not the most ridiculous plant i've got by the way let me zoom you out i feel like i can't talk to you like this at all there we go how's that <sighs> right you can sort of see me again he's not the most ridiculous plant I've got. Another video you're going to see, and I'm looking at him now, and he, he does look beautiful. He's just grown down over. Okay, you know my really big crystallinum, Anthurium crystallinum. I have him to do next. And he's so big and stunning, right? He's got a little bit of damage, but generally he's really nice. But he was on the very, very top of one of those Ikea Vitzjo units, right? And over time, his, his new petioles have just come in and they've gone, they've gone downwards. So he's grown almost upside down. And he looks awesome. And I think hanging off a shelf, he'd probably look really cool. I've tried to lift him by putting just light above him, but it seems like 
I don't know, maybe it just takes ages to move an anthurium. It's not like moving a philodendron or a monstera where they, you know, the leaves respond a bit quicker. I feel like anthurium don't. So if you want to see the next video that's probably coming out in a few days, maybe two, three days or something, not really sure yet. Maybe Tuesday. If this is your Friday, then maybe Tuesday. Something like that anyway. If you want to see that, have a little click of that if it's past that date. Um, and you'll see what I mean. He looks beautiful, but he's just, he's a bit balked. But anyway... So off camera, because no one cares, I'm going to put up these three items. This is part of the butt cut. This is the butt butt cut. And this is like a secondary mid butt cut, shall we say. And then there's the little pop. So that will just grow out. Well, all three of these will grow out in the shop. This guy will come to my house and hopefully he won't look quite as, bless him, as ridiculous as he does. But I promise you he is beautiful. I promise. Honestly, I promise. We're going to laugh at this in six months because he's going to look gorgeous. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this chaotic report with me or houseplant chores or I don't even know what you call it. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> It's not very nice. Thank you for putting up with my unwellness. I know it's not ideal. I know that the, the content that's going to be coming out uh, is going to be a bit samey, but hey ho. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. All my links to my socials are down below. I'm still actively posting on Instagram, so if you want to see cute shit, then definitely go there. My merch is in the description. My feed that I feed all these guys with is also in the description. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.